Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to replace a single pole light switch with a switch and outlet combination. I will show the connections on this demonstration board. Watch the video until the end to see how I complete this project. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. There are two options to convert this light switch into a switch and outlet combination. Number one. You can remove the light switch, which of course we have to do that. Install a two gang outlet box and install the light switch and the outlet separately. The second option is to use this Leviton Decora style switch and outlet combination, which saves space and which saves us a lot of work. This Leviton switch and outlet combination comes with detailed instructions, which show how to do the connections and which wire goes to which terminal. In this combination device, we keep the switch on top and we keep the outlet at bottom. Leviton is marked here. Just keep this Leviton marking on top side. And of course, you can see the grounding terminal of the outlet is facing down. On the right side, we see two black screws. These two black screws or black terminals, they are connected using this brass strip. In case we want the outlet and the switch on different circuits, we will have to break this strip. In that case, the outlet will be connected to a different power line and the switch will be connected to a different power line. I am using only a single circuit, so I don't have to break this. On the left side, two terminals here. The bottom terminal has a silver screw, which is for connecting the neutral wire and the upper terminal has a brass screw. We will connect the load wire here. Once again, we will connect the line on the right side to the black terminals and we will connect the load line which goes to the light fixture to this brass screw. The white neutral will be connected to this silver screw at the bottom and this screw corresponds to the longer slot on the outlet. At the back of this device there is a self grounding metallic strip. That means if your outlet box is a metallic outlet box we don't have to worry about grounding that box. But we have a ground terminal with this green screw on the same side where we connect the black line in wire because we need a neutral connection to this device, we have to make sure that the outlet box for the light switch has a white neutral wire. I will check that when I remove this light switch. I will now turn off power and remove the light switch. Always make sure there is no power inside the box. No power here, so it is safe to proceed. These are my two neutral wires and two black wires. One of these wires is hot wire which is coming from the power in and the other one should be the load wire which goes to the light fixture. In case I have to find out which of these two black wires is line wire and which one is load wire, I will have to turn on power again and use my voltage tester. So I will temporarily put wire nuts on top of these two black wires and turn on power. With power on, I will check which of these two black wires is line wire and which one is the load wire. So this black wire at the bottom is my line wire. So I will keep it down and keep this wire up. I will turn off power again and then connect the new switch and outlet combination device. Power is off, but I will double check to make sure that it is really off. First, I will take care of the ground connections here. I will remove these wire nuts. I will use a 3 pin Vago lever nut connector to connect all ground wires. So these are my three ground wires. Ground wire from power in, ground wire from the power out which goes to the light fixture and a small pigtail. This will connect to the new switch. I will now connect the ground terminal. This black wire at bottom is my power in. I will connect this one of these two black screws. Ground is connected. I will now work on the neutral wires. I will use a small white pigtail to connect the neutral. The neutral wire is connected to the silver screw and a 3 pin Vago lever nut connected to connect all three neutral wires.
these are three white neutral wires. White neutral coming from power in, white neutral going to the light fixture and white neutral pigtail which is connected to the silver screw here. Next I will connect the black load wire. This was the black wire going to the light fixture and this wire will connect to this brass screw. And finally the power in the black hot wire. We can connect it to any of these two black screws. All connections are done. Let's take another look at what we have done. All ground wires are connected using a 3 pin Vago 11 nut connector. All three neutral wires are connected using a 3 pin Vago 11 nut connector. The white wire from power in, the white wire going to the light fixture and a white pigtail connected to switch and outlet combo. On this side, the white pigtail is connected to the silver screw. This black wire connected to the brass screw is going to the light fixture. On this side, we have the black hot wire power in. I will now push these wires into the box and, and then test. Next, I will turn on power and check the connections. Power is on. Let's check the light. Works good. Light on, off. Very good. And these two orange lights indicate that the connections are correct here. I have one small table lamp here and I can check this outlet from here as well. Both the light switch and the outlet, they work independently. This project is complete now. Thanks for watching. I hope the video is informative. It is helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If I have made any mistakes in the connections, please let me know in the comments below. I will see you next time. Until then, please take care.